Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. This evening, we're going to be showing you how to um, set up your audio devices in Cubase. So let's get straight into it. Initially, uh, if we select devices from the menu, click on device setup. And initially, this is where you can um, check out all your different devices, activate different things, select different audio cards, MIDI parts. Uh, we're concentrating purely on the VST audio system. Um, so initially, in this drop down menu here, you will see initially we've got no driver. In my setup, I have the option of ACIO DirectX full duplex the generic low latency driver, which I believe is Windows, and Moto Audio ACIO. I'm currently using the Moto 828 Mark III, um, so we shall select that one, click switch. Now, once that's selected, it shows you the input latency, the output latency, and the sample rate of the sound card that's, that's chosen. Your figures will differ from these. They may be the same, they may be higher, maybe lower. Um, it's entirely up to you to set up your sound card specifically how you want it. I mean, the sample rate here is at 44.1. I usually record at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. Uh, we can always bounce down to 44.1 later. Um, you know, obviously I need to set that up. However, you know, that's what it's at for now. Um, release driver when application is in background. Basically check check that and it does exactly that it releases a driver when application is in background so for now if I opened up Windows Media Player Windows Media Player would take hold of the the sound driver if you uncheck that um, that's not the case you know I believe you can run both I mean I can certainly have Cubase running and Windows Media Player at the same time obviously very confusing but it, it's possible um, click on more to underneath and apply in this one here, this shows you all the uh, available inputs and outputs as per my sound card. Um, yours may have more, may have less. Obviously, I've got two mic inputs, eight analog inputs, two digital SP diff inputs, uh, two returns, and two reverbs. And on the output side, I've got two main outs, eight analog outs, two SP diff outs, and two phone outs. Um, in this section here, you can hide these and, and make them invisible, so you can't select them when you're into the next menu. Personally, I'll leave them all there. Uh, it just allows me to, to make sure, one, I can see everything and nothing's hidden, and hopefully it all works. So, back into Cubase now. If we press F4, we'll go to the input section. Uh, as you can see here, I have one stereo in. I'm actually going to add another bus, and let's have another three stereo. And let's add a couple of mono. So let's just minimize those so we can see. So as per my sound card, I have uh, four stereo pairs inputs. So let's call that. Input one. Input two. Input three, input four, and you can see it's actually routed those correctly. Um, you may need to tweak. If you select there, obviously you can select all your visible, in visible inputs that are there. So same with the mono ins, it's actually done it correctly. So I could swap them around. I could have that to number two and that to number one if I wanted. Um, not that wood. I like to have everything in its place. Um, so let's call that mic one and mic two. And it's that simple. So now, as per my sound card, I've got all the um, eight analog ins as well as the two microphone inputs all available to me. Um, 
this is great because for instance i have a patch bay so i have all my devices wired up to my patch bay and then i can go out of my patch bay and into input one and two or input three and four or input five and six uh, keeps it nice and simple so now in cubase if we add an audio track and let's say i wanted to record um my synthesizer I could select input one, two, three, and four. They're all there, look, as we named them. So, for instance, my virus might come in on, on uh, analog input three and four. That would be input two. I might have a sampler that comes in on five and six. That would be input three. Um, and that's it. So, any, any um, information that I record in now will record on that channel. Um, same with the outputs if we go to the output section at the moment I'm just going to main outs let's add another stereo bust um, as you can see that's gone to analog 3 and 4 so now for instance that audio track that we've just created let's say it's um, a synthesizer but I want to resample it into a sampler and manipulate it in there rather than it going to the main out I might have my sampler on the second stereo out and that will be a live feed straight into my sampler so there you go that's in now so I can record it into my sampler then I can record back out my sampler my sampler might come back in on you know obviously you see my microphone there my sampler might come back in on on here channel seven and eight so a little bit complicated to get your head around initially um, the chances are you may just have a, a, a simple sound card that has stereo in, stereo out. Easy. So on your input, you'd have input 1 and 2 here. And on your output, you'd have main out 1 and 2. And that's it. Um, you know, simple. So that's about it for uh, setting up your audio in Cubase. By all means, if you've got any questions, drop us a line. Subscribe to my channel. Um drop me a line and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and that's it. So until next time, take care. A-D-S-R. Proud. Proud.